Nate ready to pop. <laughs> we hit Maria's rum factory. We fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm. Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. That is just getting started. You good? Sorry, Guapo. No crocs allowed. Guerrillero. Wonder what Maria is going to do now. I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? Press passes? I won't ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside. So free them if you can. I'll do my best. Gracias, Clara. No me maten. Press passes. Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benavides. Press passes? This is my shot, Danny. Got a shit hot song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. Easy, Danny. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Follow those passes. Meet me and Bicho in the Botanical Gardens parking. 
Angela, and don't go in without us. Danny, I've spotted reinforcements on the road heading your way. Yeah! That croak looks mean. You have to walk, Wapo.
Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you... Silvio Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. Fine. Right. Lot of money not going to the rest of Yara. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro. A revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Spasibo for the inside tour. You really make the reporter feel... special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> it all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, e exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> No volunteers? <laughs> okay, I'll demonstrate. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound, 
called Yarantin. Found only in Yaren tobacco. Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. Over two years, Reyes tested the compound's pharmaceutical properties and discovered it could slow mitosis in cancer cells. Bullshit. Imagine this cube is Yara, a country rich in technology, agriculture, and spirit. One man combined these things, resulting in an explosion of innovation. In 2008, Dr. Edgar Reyes wondered why Yaran Tobacco was world famous for its unparalleled smooth flavor. His research led him to Yarantin, a phytochemical alkaloid unique to the plant. During tests, he discovered it stalled the growth of cancer cells. Reyes enhanced Yarantin's potency through gene therapy delivered via a natural fertilizer spray called PG-240. Future President Anton Castillo saw these innovations on limited potential to rebuild paradise in Yara. He joined Reyes to develop an organic cancer treatment known worldwide as Viviro. As you watch this, people in countries that recognize President Castillo's vision are receiving this treatment, which targets most known cancers. It gives individuals a new lease on life and allows Yara the noble pursuit of serving the planet. And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone, enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren rum. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories, it is a, uh, I say, a sneak peek. <laughs> so peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. Neither do we, let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. What now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. There are 18 million new cases of cancer. How will you be able to combat this? Viviro is a young innovation, a new discovery. We are refining the drug to be stronger and improving delivery mechanisms. How much money we have been spent on injections and the working on the technology? Yes. Our government can fix this in the country. What do you say to those who doubt you can keep up with demand for this?
special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yard in Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Daria, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. Where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Fuck. Oh. Oi, let's go, let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Hello? I knew Talia would get Maria eventually. She's had her sights on her for a while now.
Clara. Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere. What happened? It wasn't the plan. Fuck. I don't think there ever was a plan. Look, you and Dali are at the top of Anton's shit list. Watch your back. A lot of people are counting on you, Danny. We got a chance here. Word is Castillo has a defection problem. Who knows? He might even surrender. You're dreaming, Clara. Fuck yeah, I am. Talia ran off, and I don't know what she's going to do, and I think I'm having a heart attack. Bicho, you're not having a heart attack. Uh, well, how, how do you know? We need Palo. Palo knows how to fix this. Palo's in Miami by now. No, 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 he's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, just take a breath. I'm on my way. Smoke over there. Never a good sign. Holy shit. Juan wasn't fucking kidding. It's actually Danny Trejo. Them fools toss my pineapple. What? First, I get my ingredients back. Then I make tacos. Then I get revenge. Guessing you're the other Danny. Thanks for coming, Holmes. I've heard great things about you. But first things first. We're both named Danny, and that'll get awkward. So, I'm Trejo Yer Rojas. I'm here because everything good that has happened to me has happened as a direct result of help of someone else. I want to defeat Trejo's tacos to the hungry, but the army pulled a search and seizure. Those jerks tossed my stuff everywhere. So I stabbed one in the neck nine times, then another one four and a half times, and then another one. Now I need to get those ingredients back before those fools show up again. But I'm all tied up here prepping my kitchen. So if you can find my pineapples, meat, and salsa, I can make tacos, and then we can get our sweet revenge. Thanks, homie. I won't forget this. Remember, pineapples, meat, and salsa is the most lethal taco combo there is. I'm a big fan of yours too, man. I've lost count of how many times I've seen Heat, and Desperado, and Machete. Thanks, but those are movies. You're fighting in a revolution. That's real life and death stuff, homie. Hey, so, how do you know Juan anyway? Man, everybody knows Juan. Met him in San Quentin way back. Narcs busted him for possession. Where's that jerk anyway? He still owes me money. That explains why he didn't want to come. Yeah? Uh, Nothing. Phone's breaking up. I'll call you back. Uh, perfecto. Trejo's signature salsa. Uh. Uh. Mm. Still fresh. That's good. Got all your taco ingredients, Trejo. Yeah, all right. You're the best, Rojas. Come on back to my kitchen. Just put those tasty ingredients down so I can get cooking, homie. Thanks for helping me find my ingredients, Holmes. You did me a favor. I never forget a favor. No problem, man. You got everything you need now. Yeah. 
Just need to cook these babies up, feed them to the hungry, and add this new recipe to my cookbook. I'll be right here, drooling. Time to get cooking. It's Taco Tuesday. Pretty sure it's Friday, man. Once you try my tacos, you'll realize every day is Taco Tuesday. I love food. If I didn't work out, I'd be 400 pounds. Attention! This is the Minister of Food, Import, Export, Distribution, and Firearms. Oh, no. Not this fool again. One taste of my tacos, and now he won't leave me alone. I'm sending in my troops to shut down your illegal business and seize all your tasty tacos. Give yourself up and live to see another day. I can't stop now. This requires my full concentration. Hold them back while I cook. I got you, Trejo. They're gunning for us. Gotta get ready. that takes time. For sure! Those incredibly delicious tacos will be mine! Oh, yes, they will! Ah. 
What's the latest on those tacos, Trejo? Just letting them rest. Mixes all the juices. Let all the delicious flavor out. Ugh, makes sense! Done! Wait! Gotta uh. tidy up first! If there's one thing I hate, it's a messy kitchen! Okay, ready! Die, you sons of bitches! Thank you for helping me feed the hungry, Rojas. Take the keys to my ride. It's in the garage. You're giving me your ride? Gracias! No, thank you, Rojas. I'd say good luck, but I don't believe in luck. I believe in karma. You do good, and you get good. You do bad, and you get bad. We did a lot of good today, Trejo. I got your number. I'll keep in touch. Binga. Now that's a fucking bike. It's even got a built-in machine gun. Sorry, guapo. No crocs allowed. Trejo, this bike is a game changer. You sure I can keep it? It's like I always say, the better you are, the more good shit happens to you. You're a good person, so you get good things. And you're a humanitarian badass. Thanks, Trejo. So, you going back home now? Hollywood can wait. Yara needs my help. Met this cabbie named Lola. She told me the military is developing some I don't like that. Binga. I need to go see Lola. Hey, we should team up again. Trejo and Rojas, the sequel. <laughs> Man, you don't even have to ask. I'm down any place, any time. Seriously, I'm your number one fan. Homie? Okay, all right. Just be cool.
Here, tell me what you know. Danny, there's a checkpoint that's thought of everything we've thrown at it. We need you to clear it, Danny. Gracias. Let's grab a ride. Here is your you car. Walk, walk, walk.
you live out now with says everything. But every spot, spot. Tell, tell you is with crazy, crazy shit. I have a little in the days. I not the right, 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 right since Palo, Palo left. My dealer is where is Palo, Palo, Palo at the airport? airport. Mm-hmm. You might want to listen to down, down, down there, Danny. There's, There's a lot, lot of soldiers, soldiers down, down there. Just a guerrilla I wanted to see. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? 
He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Hey, bicho! You got Paolo! You are a real yarn hero! Shut up for a second. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. A, a resort? W what does that mean? Is Paolo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho! I'll call you when I have him, okay? There's a lot of resorts in Barrial. Why would they take Paolo to a place like this? Mi héroe, gracias. Los mayores de Castillo. Quiso los hijos. Come on, pa. This is the wrong resort. I'm running out of time. Tank. Come on. Paolo better be here, or Bembe's a dead man. Paolo, it's Danny! Paolo! 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 Easy, Danny. Easy. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love these new phones. They're so thin. Castillo. Look at Bibero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best death subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240. What you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Motherfuckers. Oh, Come on, Cody. Yeah. You're safe. You're with me now. Uh, uh, he put something in me. Oh, God. He put something in me. Uh, Get out to Matias. Uh, Fucking go. Oh, okay. Okay. We meet there. Uh, uh, <sighs> Matias! Need your help! Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. He was fucking El Doctor! He poisoned me! Need to get it out! Okay, you need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Danny, please take a moment and for science. Tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up! Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the autopsy. Uh, uh, oh, fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita! No! This is a real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Get away from that. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. Uh, how was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. Uh. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? He screams, pity, fuck. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Dan? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us, too. Alejo, please. 
Stop. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to come together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. you steal, Danny. Welcome back, idiot. Oh, how's Talia? You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Oh, fuck. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Danny, come here. 